My name is Konstantin and one of the 3D artists working at Chaos Group and we are at SIGGRAPH 2012 uh, this year and this is the box booth. Uh, we are using a really powerful workstation at the moment and we are demonstrating V-Ray RT uh, running on the GPUs of this computer. Uh, and actually you can see this really beautiful image next to me and uh, in fact this image is uh, right now live. If I start rotating the camera you will see uh, the image in the V-Ray frame buffer change. You can clearly see the performance of this machine. So uh, the software that I'm running is uh, V-Ray RT running on the GPU. And uh, in fact, uh, the version that I have right here uh, is uh, brand new out of the Chaos Group's kitchen. And uh, if I open the render options, uh, you will be able to see that I'm using the CUDA uh, RT engine. And this is brand new. It will be out in the next series pack of V-Ray and everyone will be able to test it and try it out. So right now you can see that I'm freely rotating my view in, in, in Maya and also uh, the machine is rendering. So uh, let me show you what kind of hardware I am using at the moment. Uh, if I go to the start menu and open a small utility provide, uh, that comes with V-Ray, uh, you will be able to see that um, I have uh, five Teslas at the moment which are rendering my image and in addition to that uh, I have this really nice uh, Quadro 5000 uh, which is responsible for my viewport and rotating the image in the viewport. So this is how I work and uh, this is uh, why things go so smoothly. So uh, you can see that in this specific example uh, I'm rendering the image with uh, a lot of blurry effects, a lot of complex uh, things are going on at the moment. Uh, I have depth of field, I have really complex materials and uh, still the performance is perfect. I can actually uh, go ahead and start changing materials around in my scene uh, to get a different, uh, different look. For example, I can desaturate this uh, golden part of my watch, I can make it silver uh, if I decide to. And uh, of course the V-Ray uh, RT is handling blurry effects quite quickly. So uh, let's take a look at another example and another new thing which was added in this uh, V-Ray build. So, I have one scene with a lot of airplanes and uh, basically at the moment I'm rotating more than 15 million polygons and uh, something like that will be quite challenging for the GPU or for the memory of the GPU to load and to preview. Uh, and that's why we decided to include uh, instancing with uh, this newest version of V-Ray. So right now when I hit the render button, uh, V-Ray will load only one of the airplanes in the memory of the video board and all the others will be instances and will not be loaded at all. So let's start RT and take a look at the performance. So again I'm using the CUDA engine and I'll hit the IPR button. Also keep in mind that these are production example scenes. We have huge textures, uh, uh, really dense geometry and still uh, the image immediately appears in just a matter of a couple of seconds. It's clean and I can actually save it on my hard drive and use it uh, uh, as, as my uh, final result uh, in this scene. At the moment uh, you can see that in a matter of seconds the image is clean. It's perfectly clean, noise free. Uh, and uh, again, this is thanks to the speed of V-Ray. On the other hand, this is the speed of the remote workstation that I'm using at the moment and all these GPUs.